I got me a question like What's going on YouTube? It's your girl T Floss and I'm back again with another banger. If you're not tuned in, then you are H A T E R. You a hater. Feel me as you can as you guys can see by today's title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be doing a updated QA. So yeah, I go I went on Instagram, did the poll, I got a few questions. You feel me? I just took screenshots or whatever, so I'm about to be answering them all of them in today's video. You feel me? Before we get in today's video, how you guys doing? How you guys feeling? Also to the left of me, I got my beautiful girlfriend. She's sitting out here eating some food. And she just came home from work. And yeah. So if y'all hear videos or her eating. <laughs> or hear anybody eating, that's, that's her. Alright, so I guess I'll just answer the basics first. You feel me? My name, where I'm from. Because a lot of you people here are new. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> So my real name. If you guys watch the old videos, then you know. I always said it in my intro. But my real name is Tiara. Um, I'm 23. Uh, my birthday is October 3rd. And um, I'm from the Bronx, New York. I'm from the towns. I'm from the bitty where shit get, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. I played college basketball. For y'all who didn't know, I was a walk-on on a D2 college, you feel me? Didn't get to play a lot, but the experience and the coaching staff and my teammates were definitely in a, uh, an amazing group of people, so I loved it. Um, that's also how I came across this lovely woman next to me. Um, I graduated college two years ago with my bachelor's in sports management. Um, I went to Lynn University. I'm just a pretty cool person. <laughs> I'm just a pretty cool person. Um, all right, so first question. Oh, we gonna get into that. Um, first question was, what was your favorite experience in Jamaica? So, when this video comes out, all the Jamaica videos will be uploaded. So make sure you guys go on my page and go watch that because we had a great time. It was me and my girlfriend's first time traveling out the country together. Um, I brought her back to the towns like last year so you feel me we we went on a trip before but this was our first time out the country together so to answer the question what was my favorite experience in jamaica um every day was an experience so i just like the whole trip overall you feel me um i came across or we met a group of people that was in our age group because all the adults brought their kids so um it mean everybody there is evolved. That was like my favorite experience. Just me and everybody. Like the first time we all chilled. Remember that? Mm -hmm. We was all chilling by like the waterfront or the ocean type yeah, shit. And we was just chilling, playing games, talking, and stuff like that. So um, that was my my favorite experience. Like you feel me? Just meeting everybody. And then like the vibes are just 100% genuine. Like it wasn't like on some, mm, I don't know. Like it was 100% genuine from that day on. Like we was with each other every night. Um, other than that, my favorite experience was just experiencing Jamaica with my girl. For you guys who don't know, if you didn't watch Day 3's video when we went to Dunsville Falls, she said that she was from Jamaica. So, fun fact about her, that's where she's from. So, it felt good to go back home. Her home. My home, too, because my parents are both Jamaican. But her home, 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 home. And experience that. I actually met her, her biological father, which is crazy. <laughs> um... Yeah, we could do a Q and A with me and how we ask questions up for me or but yeah. I met her dad. Um, so yeah, that was the answer to the number one question. Um, the second question is where you wanna go next? To be honest, I don't even know. Like I just wanna go anywhere, bro. Like But I think like I've been thinking about the US VR a little bit. Virgin Islands. That's definitely a vibe. And you don't need a passport, so I mean, not saying I don't got one, but you feel me? USVR, definitely want to go there. Um, how long was it since you traveled? So prior to the Jamaica trip, like a year and a few months, because we went to New York. But if we excluding that, um, then the last time I traveled, besides going back to New York, is um, 2018, 2019, when I went back to Jamaica. Um, 
um <clears throat> how was my trip it was amazing bro it was a blessing man i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of fun there was a lot of you know different things going on but it was it was definitely fun bro i'm not gonna lie it was an experience you feel me like we left the property so for people who don't know you're gonna see it in the video but we experienced or we was in a hurricane in Jamaica. I didn't record on that day for the simple fact that it was like, there's no content, you feel me? We was chilling and we took a nap for like majority of the day or we slept for majority <laughs> of the day. And um, the day after we went to, like we just walked off the property, went to a basketball court and we was hooping for a little bit. But yeah, my trip was good though. It was, it was really fun. Um, Somebody said, how is it living in Florida? So for guys, for people that don't know, obviously I, current res I currently reside in Florida. Um, living in Florida is cool, bro. It's, it's peaceful. Um, if you come from the towns or any five boroughs, four boroughs, because we're not talking about Staten Island, any of the four boroughs, you feel me, then you know that it gets hectic, man. It's loud. You come across a lot of people. Like everything is just fast paced and stuff like that. But when you're in Florida, bro, you, you calm down. You get to enjoy like life a little bit more. Like you feel me? I was definitely enjoying life in New York, but coming down here made me realize that you gotta expand your horizons and can't just like you feel me. Stay there forever, like you feel me. Um, let's see. Story about your experience in Jamaica. I guess we could do that in another video. What we talk about? What we did, what we like, what we didn't like, what we gonna do next, or like what we gonna do, what what can we do better in our next? So I'll answer that. Like I'll do like a whole separate video for that. Um, what inspired you to become to make YouTube videos and become a content creator? So for the people who don't know, I make music. Well, if you're on my page, then you know that the page has a a music symbol next to it. So it's a artist page. I just post YouTube videos on there as well. But um, what inspired me? I, I I really started YouTube in quarantine till 2020 and um, I built my home studio. So if you go way back, way, 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 way back, um, I think I had a few videos before that where I pranked my mom or I think that came after when I started the YouTube, but um, yeah, it was before. So like, I just wanted to, like I realized bro, like you go on YouTube and like, if you have a fun life, why not record it? Like, you feel me? Like, why not record it? It don't care about the, it, it don't matter about the views. Cause if you consistent, like you feel me, you gonna, you gonna get your views. You gonna get your, your niche of like, you feel me? Who watches you, your audience and your fan base. But it's just, I'm, the things I do in life, I just always have fun on top of that. I make music. So this is like kind of an insight for people to get to like, you know, know me a little bit more, understand me, feel a little bit closer than just, listening to my music um any advice for anyone trying to get their stuff together and and be as productive as you uh you gotta have a why i guess like you gotta know why you want to do something in life like it could be your parents it could be your mom your dad you from your grandma or grandfather it could be your girlfriend, but your boyfriend. It could be your aunt. It could be your sister. I don't know. It could be anybody. You feel me? If you know why you want to do it, bro, then like there should be no excuses on, on why you're not doing it. You feel me? If that makes sense. So to be as productive, bro, I have a why, bro. Like you feel me? Like as my YouTube journey continues, then one day I'll just get into it. But there's a lot of things in my life that you feel me changes the way I think or view or do a lot of things in life and I have a why you feel me so I have people and you feel me a goal in mind and I just like get up and I just like you feel me I gotta I gotta make some shit shake you are um what's your top goal for music and top goal for videography another sidebar so for you guys who don't know I'm also a photographer and videographer um my top goal for music, I definitely want to like do a show. I'm nervous, like I'm, I'm, de I'll definitely be nervous for the show, but I want to do a show. Like I want to see how I can control a crowd of people. You feel me? My music is not like I'm from New York, but I don't make music like everybody else. You feel me? Like I got my own flow, my own. You feel me? My own cadence and stuff like that. Like my, I'll be in my pocket for real. But um, 
I definitely want to do my own show. That's that's definitely like my goal. That's not my top goal, but a near future goal right now is that I want to do a show. My top goal, obviously, is to you for me be up there. You for me plaques number one or whatever. My top goal for videography. My top goal for videography is to learn cinematography for real, like 100% lock in and make everything cinematic. Um, my videos on YouTube, you can see it's not really like everybody else's videos, but like the quality is there, but I really want to dig deep into cinematography and learning how to tell a story. Like, like just like nobody talking, cinematic music, scenes, lighting, like I want to know all of that. Like I, that's my top goal. Um, How's the music coming along? Music coming along really good. Thank you for asking. Uh, a few months ago, I was had writers block, and I, I didn't make music for a few months, but I'm back. I'm here. EP on the way. When soon? Can't tell ya, but definitely on the way. And um, yeah, music is coming along pretty well. Uh, what do you value the most? Right, so I had a in this lifetime I had a few people pass away so I say what I value the most is life bro cause like if I say music then it's just me taking everything else for granted like then I'm taking my mom for granted my girl, my friends basketball, like I'm taking all that for granted so I, I value life because without life none of this is gonna happen you feel me so I, I value that the most like I'm very grateful and I'm appreciative Waking up every day and God, you feel me? Blessing me to be one of those people to wake up every day. Um, What's your biggest accomplishment? What you think? I say one of, being on the phone with A Boogie. What you say? Say like graduating. Oh yeah, graduating college too is definitely, you feel me? Niggas come out the Bronx, go to Florida and still graduate college is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's one of them. And then on FaceTime with A Boogie, that was tough. Um. Somebody said, how did you and Zoe meet? Video. Yeah, seriously. Is it? Mm-mm. Right there. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do another video. We'll do uh, a Q&A with me and her. And uh, her birthday weekend is actually coming up in two weeks, three weeks. Something like that. I don't know. Are we, are we counting this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's three weeks. Okay. Three weekends from today. Um. So yeah, we could do one that day. Cause I got, you know, what I'm saying. Stay tuned for that weekend, yeah. Cause we got a lot of surprises. I got a lot, you know, thing. How often are you gonna drop videos on YouTube? Um. It looks like from now to like the end of the year, like I'm really gonna be like doing a lot of things. So like. <laughs> As long as I'm doing something, you feel me? If not, then I'm always going to have something, like, you feel me? So I'm at least trying to drop, like, once a week, you feel me? Twice a week if I can, but I think once a week is, like, more realistic based on my schedule. Um, But when, like, I'm with, when I'm with my girl, bro, we always doing something. So, like, whenever I'm with her, which is pretty often, on the weekends, like, when I just record and, you feel me, upload those in, like, bunches, like, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, as long as I get the thumbnail back too, because my thumbnail artists be fake busy too, so, you feel me, the videos will always be there, but when I get the thumbnail, then I'll upload it same day. Five years from now, where do you think you'll be? What's, what's 2024? Mm -hmm. Five years from now. That may not be 28. He's just looking at me. <laughs> Stop. Um, five years from now, let's see. I definitely think me and my girl will be, you know what I'm saying, tying mm -hmm. the knot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Secretly, too. I'm tired of people. <laughs> um, I think we'll be married. I think we'll be working on getting some kids in the picture. Um, I think we'll be either living in our dream house or building our dream house. You feel me? Because, like, five years from now, bro, I could be... You know, that could be up there. For five years from now, her business could be, you know what I'm saying, up there. So everything could change in six months, a year. So for me, five years from now, um, I'm definitely, we definitely going to have a lot of things shake for her. But I think, like, the biggest things is, like, being married and trying to get some kids in the picture if we don't already. 
Um, all right, let's do one more question. All right, if you could, last question. If you can give advice to anybody trying to do music or YouTube or photography and videography, what's your advice? All right, if you're trying to do music, my advice is a few things. One, have honest friends. Because if your music is trash, your friends need to tell you your music is trash. Two, have supportive friends. Don't have, you feel me? Don't be around people where it's just like, they fake hating on you because they don't want to see you win before you win. I mean, they don't want to, they don't want to see you win before they win. Three, find your flow. You feel me? When I started doing music, if you guys listen to like old music, I had a lot of Tory Lanez, Tulsi, Gunna. Like I had a lot of people that I look up to, like sounds, you feel me? But with that being said, when you grow in music and you're trying to find yourself, bro, you're going to sound like a lot of people. So like top three things, you feel me? And also be consistent. Like if, if the song is good, drop it. Don't be like me. Because I, I got some songs in my phone that's just like, I got songs from two years ago, bro. Fire songs. I just don't know, you feel me? Um, so yeah. Um, for YouTube, I'm not big on YouTube, so, like, it's cliche, but just be consistent, you feel me? Like, find what you like to do, or just pick up the camera, record, you feel me? Just do all that, you feel me? I don't care about nobody's opinion, bro, like, if you're gonna do it, if, if you're gonna wake up one day and be like, I'm gonna go do whatever, don't care about nobody's opinion, your, your family members is not gonna support you, your girl probably won't support you, your dad probably won't support you. Your grandmother probably won't support you. Don't care about that, bro. Because guess what? As soon as you hit a meal, as soon as you hit all this, then guess what? They gonna come right back around. So don't care about nobody opinion, bro. Because whoever left, gonna come right back. What you looking at? I'm just listening to you. Oh. And then for videography and photography, um, one, get a good camera. Some people take pictures off the phone and... I don't, I wouldn't tell you if I suggest it or not because honestly, I just bought a camera, learned it as much as I could, bought another camera, and then perfecting that one, you feel me? So get have good quality content, you feel me? Like, if you're going to do it off your phone, do it the right way, you feel me? Go get the good accessories like a cage, a lens, adapter, a lens, you feel me? Get all the good things. Make sure you got storage on your phone. If you're going to get a camera, then make sure you like look up the pros and cons because don't be like me where you just buy a camera because it look cool, but it's expensive. So you think that the quality is going to be fire you feel me? So, um, yeah. Also, find your niche. You can't be a sports photographer and a wedding photographer and a lifestyle photographer and, and a beauty photographer and a fashion photographer. You can't be all of those, bro. You feel me? You got to find your niche. For me, I'm a, I'm a sports photographer. I like... I'm around basketball. I coach basketball, so it just makes it a little bit easier. And for videography, find your niche. You feel me? Do whatever you like. Pick up the camera. Just record. Um, and try to have a story behind what you're recording. Like, you feel me? Sometimes people pick up the camera, record, and just make a story. But if you're really trying to, like, get um, clientele where they will pay you the, the good bread, then... Make sure you have like a story and build your portfolio. Um, yeah, so that's the updated QA. I probably could do one, what is it, July? I probably could do one when the new year start. You feel me? To rally in more people. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because over here we bring the vibes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace. Can you close it off for me? I got me a question like Niggas ain't have no emotion